Praise Master Jesus. Standing before us is Mr. and Mrs. Prince Eno Obon. They are both native of Agoipo in Yako local government area, Cross River State, Nigeria. Residing at Ekman Police Barrack in Uya local government area, Delta State, Nigeria. And these are their children. They are here to narrate a very wonderful testimony of what God has performed in the life of the wife, Mrs. Agnes Obong, through the prayers of our Father and the Lord, Jesus Holiness, Saint DKG Daniel Minyiri Jesu, the Bishop of the whole world. Praise the Lord. According to them, said to be brief, said last year, November 2018, after she delivered her baby, she fell sick. Severe headache and general body pain. In fact, different types of sicknesses. To the extent that she started experiencing stiffness of the neck. She said after the husband took her to the hospital, after checking her, they would say it's malaria fever, drugs will be given to her, it will subside. After a while, the sickness will resurface again. She said from that year, 2018, they have been moving from one hospital to another, but all medical treatment she has been taking proved abortive. Said from that last year, they will go to the hospital, they will come back to this year, 2019. They said this very month, which is this month, November, this year, 2019, the husband said he was on night duty at his place of work when their neighbors phoned him that the wife is very, very sick, very terrible. So he pleaded with them to please take the wife to the nearest hospital, which is central to here in Wari, Delta State, Nigeria, which the neighbors did. When they eventually got to central hospital, Wari, Delta State, Nigeria, series of tests were conducted on her. Nothing was found. So the doctors in central to Wari now gave her some malaria drugs to cure the malaria fever, but nothing was seen. So it took the wife to their reverend in Assemblies of God Church. The husband said immediately their reverend in Assemblies of God Church saw the wife's condition. He quickly told them that the husband should please take the wife to Vicar Clinic. So without delay, the husband took the wife there. After a series of tests, and after Dr. Agra checked out through the prayers of the Bishop of the Old World, it was there in Vicar Clinic that the results showed that the wife is suffering from meningitis and typhoid fever. The husband said when the sickness will attack her, the neck would be very stiffened, the wife would be stretching like a fowl, and the headache all over the body fat, she would start dying. She said, they started giving her treatment in Vicar Clinic, but all were in vain. In fact, the husband said he became very, very tired. He said they've been in Vicar Clinic all throughout last week. He said, through the prayers of the Bishop of the Old World, one of our members, Ella, was shown to a wish they did not know. So it was that our member, by name is Ella Asogro. She was the one that God directed. They did not know her before. Only God, a Bishop of the directed the husband to her. So she told them that this is a spiritual case, that the only solution is Jesus' doctor, who is our father, Bishop of the Old, that is above all doctors on earth. Praise the Lord. And the husband said before them, because of the seriousness of the wife's condition, Dr. Agogo referred them to Delta State University Hospital, Ogara, in the West government area of Delta State, Nigeria. So that's where they can handle the wife's case. And but the, after there hearing... Was, there was occasion, they buried life foul. Yes, yes. They Thank buried you, life foul. Said there was an occasion, they even buried life foul. But all this thing they did, no solution to the problem of the wife. So after Dr. Agua referred them to Delta State University to to Gara, and this is our sister, through the press of Bishop, directed them here. This past Thursday, on the 8th of this very month, November this year, 2019, the husband said he became very fed up, tired of the situation, and told Dr. Agua to please discharge the wife. Said the drip was still fixed on the wife. Said with faith, shattered tricycle and brought the wife here. The International Headquarters of God's Grace Ministry, which is the seat of our father, the bishop of the whole world. So when they came that Thursday morning, 
They told them to wait and they said patience. Said the wife was even saying something was telling her that this is the right place, that she has come to the right place. Say because she doesn't move to any church. If they tell her that this person is praying, she doesn't go. Say, but immediately that our sister told the husband that they should bring her to God's grace ministry. The Spirit of God was ministering to her that this is the right place. Praise the Lord. So, as God will have it, that Thursday lecture, our father, Jesus Holiness, Saint D.K.G. Daniel, me and just to the Bishop of the old world, came out from his court for the Thursday lecture. She sat on the chair by the entrance of the main gate. She said, immediately the Bishop of the old world saw her, Bishop of the old world touched her. She said she was surprised at the humility of our father, the Bishop of the whole world. Praise the Lord. She said, after the bishop of the world laid eyes on her, the bishop of the world stopped, turned, and asked the husband, that, what is wrong with your wife? Say, so when the husband told the bishop of the world, bishop of the world, only a touch, touch, and bishop of the world entered the auditorium for the Thursday lecture. The husband said, immediately, after the bishop of the world laid eyes on her and entered to the church, said, the wife said, she started feeling something moving out from her body. Praise the Lord. And this is somebody that was dying before that she could not walk. The husband even held that, supported her. Said she could not walk. They even carried her here. Instantly, after Bishop of the laid on her, she told the husband that something is leaving her body. To the husband's greatest surprise, as you can see on the screen, the husband said, only a touch. The wife instantly became healed of that meningitis that defied all medical solutions. Praise the Lord. So instantly, only her on her own, someone that was dying, since last year, has been dying off and on. That they carried, you can see on the screen, that they carried to God's grace ministry. After only a touch by the Bishop of the World, who is Jesus Christ, she received her instantaneous healing. So only at God's of during the Thursday lecture, they came into the auditorium and they shared this great testimony. And she confirmed that of a truth, the God of the Bishop of the World is number one. Praise the Lord. So the Bishop of the Lord, after hearing the testimony, after they praise God, Bishop of the Lord also prayed for her, saying the testimony will be an everlasting one, that nothing will happen to her. So they really claimed this prayer with faith. They said the next day, to confirm, they really went to Delta State University Teaching Hospital, Ogara, Delta State, Nigeria. Said on their way going, they, they did not know the location. Said to their greatest surprise, when they got close to Ogara, they said there was this gully, not knowing they have the road because of the bad portion of the road. Said to their greatest surprise, they saw one of the ministry's vehicle, one of the vehicle of our father, the bishop of the whole world. I remember that we are in the third election. Some of them we are also in that bus. When they saw them, they recognized them. They asked them, where, where are they going to? They said, Ogara Teaching Hospital. So they directed them to Delta State University Teaching Hospital. So when they got there, they explained to the doctor what happened, her case. So the doctor checked her and told her that. No trace of meningitis. Nothing was found in her again. All through the prayers of the bishop of the whole world. This is their testimony. Praise the Lord. She only took her feet on that Thursday. Immediately after the prayer. She did exactly right. They brought foul and they buried the foul alive because of her helmet. That's a serious Yes. That foul. And the It's too dangerous. For you to bury foul alive, it's dangerous to be healed. So, the woman that was dying, the very last hour, the grave of death, you are not 
first son, the young man standing by my extreme right, so she started experiencing that strange movement from her chest downwards and difficulty in breathing. She said, but this Thursday, after the prayers of the Bishop of the Old World, that is the end of that 17 years strange movement and difficulty in her breathing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Everybody, 